attach needle bread with three screws. Attach looper cover. Screw until flush with surface of the body. Insert leaf spring and tighten with 2 mm hex key temporarily. Loosen 2 mm hex key and turn the spring with screwdriver to give tension to the spring. Tighten 2 mm hex key while spring is having tension. This is looper thread guide. This will work as a stopper of the looper cover also. If you locate looper thread guide inside, looper will touch the looper cover and make noise. So, considering that point, tighten the looper thread guide. Install pressure foot. Needle bar position should be at the highest position. Attach pressure foot guide carefully with two screws. Pressure foot should go up and down smoothly, but it should not move left and right. Otherwise, carrier and hook will hit needle while machine is running and break parts. Make this adjustment by tightening the two screws. It takes time to get used to, but this adjustment is important, so try to adjust precisely. Next, tighten screw for pressure bar guide. Please follow these steps. Put spring for the pressure foot and give maximum pressure. 
locate needle bar at bottom end. There should be no space between needle plate and pressure foot. Make sure that height adjusting screw is located at the bottom end. This is called height adjusting screw. Push down pressure bar guide and tighten screw. Next, I will attach upper knife. Before attaching upper knife, I will explain the location of lower knife. The back tip of the lower knife should be located at the line of second needle from left. Adjust with this screw. This is upper knife holder. Knife is holded by 3mm hex screw from bottom. First, move knife holder at the nearest place to the pressure foot. Insert upper knife and knife support. Tighten the upper knife temporarily. With this screw, the knife's up, down, and left leg position will be decided. With bottom 3mm hex screw, you can adjust the amount of engagement between the upper and lower knives. First, fix the left-right position of upper knife. As you see, Upper knife will hit pressure foot if this is wrongly attached. Knife or pressure foot will be damaged if it is set wrongly. Tighten the screw temporarily where knife does not hit the pressure foot, but straight with lower knife. Next, adjust the amount of engagement between the upper and lower knives, and finally tighten the screw. Next, Loosen this screw and make 0.5 to 1 mm space between knife folder and final tighten the screw. Make sure that upper knife is not hitting pressure foot. The more space you have here, the better the knife will cut, but the faster the knife will get down. Adjust like this. Loosen pressure on pressure foot. Lift pressure foot a little 
by turning head adjusting screw. Consider that this is standard position. Please change this adjustment according to material you saw. This is carrier. This is hook. Put on needles first. Needle FLX118 or UY118 has flat surface. Put the needle all the way up and then put screws on that flat surface. This is correct position of carrier. Carrier and hook intersect here. Install not to interfere. Check by touching with your finger. Hook should not touch fifth needle. Check it from backside of pressure foot by using small screwdriver. When attaching carrier and hook, attach it not to lateral up and down. Attach covers. Put silicone at the upper side of this place. I am attaching lever type freeze system, which is only available with Kansai Special Flat Seamer. Thanks to this device, you can adjust stitch lengths without using tools. This screw is similar with screw for the needle plate, but it is different. Pitch is different. 